Hello everyone. Welcome to Informa Special Remedy. My name is Prophetess Informa. This night I'm going to teach you the simple remedy we apply if you want to destroy your enemy completely. What you do, go, go and get a paper. Then get pen. When you get, I'm sorry, when you get paper, you get pen. Inside that paper, you bring the paper, you write the name of your enemy. Maybe the name of your enemy is Mr. 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 Michael. Write Mr. Michael. I'm sorry to use the name Michael. Example, Mr. Michael in that paper. So when you put the name of Mr. Michael in that paper, you bring pepper. This fresh pepper. You bring fresh pepper. Then you bring garlic. This garlic. You bring garlic. You bring mortar. When you bring mortar, you put the name of your enemy in that mortar. You put garlic. This garlic is big, big size. You can put this garlic like four pieces or three pieces. You put it inside the, inside the mortar. Then you put pepper, like three or four or five, depends. You put it there. You begin to pound it together. As you are pounding it, before then you anoint it and bless it. I speak a word because there is power in your tongue. If only you know the power that is in your tongue because it's a spiritual thing you are doing. God has given you authority according to the word of God in Genesis 1 verse 26 and verse 28. Go there and check it, the power you have what's based on the power of the tongue and you go to john you find that there's power in your tongue so when you, you begin to bless the anointing before you put it in a paper you begin to speak a word as you are pounding it you begin to speak a word because your enemy is after you and that person is a human being and you begin to pound it as i'm pounding this thing i crush you mr michael anywhere you are Whatever you are doing, as I'm pounding, let those things return back to you. As I'm pounding it, I crush your power, I crush your mission, I crush your assignment, I crush it to ashes. And this paper is pepper, so that so shall everything about you be pepperish. You begin to pound it, you begin to crush it. Be pounding. As I hit this, now I hit you. I hit your power. I hit all every of the source of your power. I hit you and I return those things you have done against me back to sender. You say, in that name, Jesus Christ, is the name you will use. So that you will get the key point. Because the Bible says in Philippians 2, 9, 11, and 12, God is God highly exalted that name. And gave him name above every other names. That at the mention the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that every new shall bow, things on earth. This and every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord. So that's why I always tell people when I'm teaching my own, I will tell you to use the name of Jesus to identify who I am, where I'm coming from. Because if you didn't identify who you are, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that is the area I'm coming from. So identify it when you are crushing it so that the powers behind it will know the stronger power name you are using. Because that person might have protection, but with the name of Jesus Christ, those powers behind him, back him up with surrender. You begin to pound it. Why I say use the name of Jesus Christ? Because you don't know the power behind that person. One brother heard that we are doing an assignment for Cain. We are flogging people. We are wiping people. Wiping the evil ones. So when he got the experience and got the lemma through us, he went home. Somebody that is owing him, he went to home in the midnight, he evoked the person. He began to wipe the person. Not knowing the person is wiping is not an ordinary person. The person belongs to a strong place. I mean strong place. But due to he is not well prepared. But due to the grace is not there for him. But due to the, 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 the pride was still in him, he feel like he has overpowered. Due to he didn't know how to use the name of Jesus Christ of night, thinking that his ordinary strength. When he wiped the man finished, the man came back and attacked him to the extent the, the brother nearly died. If not that the children of God gather strength and gather and begin to minister on that brother, Open all the hospital bill, no up the hospital, different hospital, no one was able to recover him. Just the children of God was constantly doing prayer before he later recovered, revived. Since that day, nobody told him to stay away from some spiritual work that he has no grow, he's not matured in any of spiritual work. If you're in the other side, use it normal with the other. But if you're in the side of God, use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So that the moment they hear that name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, 
who died and who laid down his life on the cross of Calvary for your sake. Use that name because you are not using your own power to do that assignment. The moment the spirit is here, they will give way. So we begin to crush the word, this uh, ginger with the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So that when they will hear that name, they will bow. You can't use an idol and do a sign, use evil spirit and chase evil spirit. Maybe you want to use an evil spirit to chase evil spirit. It can't work. When you know that that person is using diabolic power, use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The superior that the power is using, that is when you hit him. It will enter very well. Please, like my video, share and subscribe. Pound it very well when you make sure you pound this assignment. Hit your enemy, speak with neck. If you want, you like be naked. If you don't like, don't be naked. But it's a dangerous assignment when you pound the person. Finish, wash up your mortar, speak a word, prophesy, anoint your mortar back in the name of Jesus. And mortar, I anoint in the name of Jesus Christ. Even before you start doing the assignment, anoint that mortar. Tell that mortar whatever I speak when I'm pounding you, that is what you obey. The mortar will obey you, the pistol, pistol will obey you. That is how to use to use pepper and garlic to pound your enemy. Pound pepper out of his life. Pound cause crush everything about him. Crush his movements. Crush whatever finance is using to work. Go go that evil assignment. Crush everything to ashes. So as you pound that pepper into Nothing can his name cannot be able to see in the paper, and his name has missed up his paper. So shall everything about him be missed up with paperish. All his life, all his plan, all his mission, turn it to paperish, and his name cannot be able to detect. So shall he be not be able to detect again, so whatever he's doing. That is how to destroy your enemy completely. If you want to destroy your enemy, God bless you. Thank you very much. My phone number is plus two three four. 8131677216. Please like my video, share, and subscribe. God bless you. I love you all.